Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to the Joanne Michael Show. Tonight, I'm honored to have with me the two candidates running for district attorney of Ulster County. And on my right is Holly Carnwright, on my immediate right Hello. is Holly Carnwright. He's an attorney in Saugerties. And next to him is Jonathan Sennett, the Democrat. And he's from New Paltz, an attorney in New Paltz. And, um, just before the show started, I, I, in a humorous note, because I guess there's a lot of serious questions to come, uh, what were you saying about your wives are both attorneys, but something? That's, that's correct. Well, my, uh, my wife, Mary Ann Sennett, is uh, appellate counsel right now for the Public Defender's Office, and she took over that position as uh, appellate counsel from Denise Dorderville, who is uh, Holly's wife. And Denise is still an assistant public defender as well. Well, I just thought that was sort of an interesting tidbit, and perhaps nobody's read that in the newspaper, and that's why I decided to interview uh, both the Republican and Democrat candidates tonight. Um, what I'd like to do first is start with your background, and maybe, um, Holly, you could start and tell us a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, uh, where you went to college and law school, and anything else that you think the viewers might want to know about your background. Okay. <laughs> of course, in a minute or two. Yeah, <laughs> everything they want to know in right. 30 seconds. Uh, uh, I'm a local guy. I was uh, born and raised in Saugerties. Uh, my father actually was uh, born and raised in Saugerties and his father before him. So we have some pretty deep roots to the community. And um, I went to Saugerties High School. I attended Union College in Schenectady. And then I went to Boston uh, for law school. I went to Suffolk University School of mm -hmm. Law in Boston. I met my wife there, as we've just described. So she was a law student as she well? She was a law okay. student. Uh, Suffolk had a, um, a fairly large law school. It was, um, uh, it, it, uh, it, it had not only a day program, but a, a very active night program. And Denise was uh, in the day program initially, and then she had to work to put herself through school, and she um, attended the night school. Um, but we, we met there, and, um, and the rest, the rest is history. <laughs> oh. That was, uh, we met in 1974. Okay. And we dated for many, many years. Uh, she was um, a tad reluctant to move to Ulster County. From Where is she from? From Boston. She's from uh, outside of Worcester, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and uh, was, um, loved Boston. I loved Boston too, actually, but um, I wanted to come home and work here. So um, we courted for a number of years, actually, and uh, eventually she gave up the ghost and married me and moved to uh, Ulster County. We, um, We've raised two daughters here in Ulster County. Both of our daughters um, have um, graduated from high school and graduated from Southern High School. Kim uh, attended Cornell University and she's married. And um, yesterday informed me that she and her husband are buying a house. <coughs> That's an interesting detail. We won't, we won't go into that. And, um, well, it's uh, a good time to buy a house. I guess. I That's, guess. It's a buyer's market, yes, so yes, they yes. did something right. I suppose. <laughs> uh, and then my youngest daughter, Cassie, is a sophomore at Hobart William Smith College. That's a college uh, just north of Seneca Lake in New York. In Geneva. In Ge well, it's exactly right, in Geneva. Because yes. I was there. Ah, how about that? All right. So I, um, did, to kind of bring this down to where we're headed this evening, mm -hmm. I'm a local guy with local ties, uh, born and raised here, and worked here all of my life. And um, I have, um, well, I guess I'd say I'm the old man in the race. I have a few more years' experience. Uh, but you have a law practice. practice that you started here. Yes. When was that? Right after law school you came back? Actually, my dad was a lawyer. And so mm -hmm. when I uh, graduated from law school, we came back. In New York State, you take the bar and you have to wait a long, long time. It seems for, it probably seems longer than it is, to wait to find out if you pass the bar. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I was... Uh, I'd taken the bar and I was working with Dad, and to be honest with you, there wasn't a lot of pressure as far as the exam is concerned, because if I didn't pass, um, I was in good company, I would take it again, in the meantime I could work with Dad. So during that time, I uh, was called by a fellow named Mike Cavanaugh, and uh, he wanted to interview with me, and I, to be honest with you, I'd been away at school, and I, I had in the books, and I didn't know who Mike Cavanaugh was at the time. So I mentioned to Dad, I said, gee, I got a call from a fellow named Mike Cavanaugh, he'd like to interview me. I said, who is he? And he said, well, he's the district attorney. I said, oh. So I went down and we, I, I met with Mike and uh, he offered me a job. And uh, all of a sudden there was more of a focus on whether I passed the exam. So, <laughs> so <coughs> did look, you pass the first Luckily I did, time? yes. Luckily I That's passed good. the exam. And uh, then I went to work mm -hmm. uh, right away with Mike. Uh, that was 1978. That was my first job. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then I became uh, Mike's chief assistant DA about, about a year later. 
So I started out in the DA's office here. I was a former chief assistant DA. And then when I left the DA's office, I went to work in my father's office initially, which a practice I took over after he passed on. Uh, and I've been an assistant public defender for many, many years. Well, thanks a lot. I, you know, it's, I'm glad I know this about you. And, and Jonathan, not to give you short shrift here, but um, the same thing. So um, where are you from and where did you go to school? And well, I was born in Jamaica Hospital, uh, Jamaica, Jamaica Queens. Queens. When my mom was uh, born as well. But uh, we moved when I was only a few months old out to Long Island. Uh, I grew up in the same house in Syosset. Actually, the house is in Jericho. I graduated Syosset High School. And I went on to the University of Maryland at College Park. I studied law at Brooklyn Law School, where I graduated in 1993. And uh, my first job out of school was in the Bronx District Attorney's Office. I got there in January of 1994, and uh, that's where I met my wife, uh, in the Bronx DA's office, although she was a, a few months behind me. Uh, she started out in September. Uh, by the time my wife got there, I, was, I had been working in criminal court, and by the time my wife got there, I was assigned to, uh, to lead a team of ADAs in criminal court. Um, assistant district yeah, attorneys. Yeah, assistant district assistant. attorneys, that's right, ADAs, uh, how we refer to ourselves. Uh, I worked in the Bronx DA's office for about five and a half years, and uh, I worked my way up uh, pretty well and quickly uh, to what we refer to as the Supreme Court Bureau. Uh, I handled, uh, I was in a bureau that uh, handled violent felony cases from homicide to, to well, from gun possession to homicide. Um, most of my cases, it, involved witnesses, uh, rather, you know, uh, complaining witnesses who were uh, civilians, also police officers uh, who had uh, uh, been uh, engaging in gun, gunplay mm -hmm. or had been uh, injured in the line of duty. Uh, I represented uh, these people um, in about, uh, I'd say approximately 30 cases that I tried to verdict in Supreme Court. I had also tried cases, uh, misdemeanors, but 30 uh, violent felonies. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a very large jurisdiction. My wife and I, uh, we like to say we courted in the bleachers at Yankee Stadium because that's uh, where we began to, uh, to date. Uh, I uh, got married in 1996, and I left the DA's office uh, shortly after my older daughter was born. I have you two have two girls. daughters yes. also. Uh, my, my older daughter, Shana, is uh, eight years old, and uh, she and I share the same birthday, two days after Christmas. She'll be year. And uh, after Shana was born, it uh, became obvious that uh, we were not going to make ends meet in New York City uh, on uh, one assistant DA's salary. So I, I left and I went to, to uh, practice uh, in the asbestos litigation. My clients were mainly, mostly men, uh, who had worked in the building trades and the ship trades, who mm -hmm. had been poisoned with asbestos uh, decades before. And it just so happened my clients were all people with either mesothelioma, which is a form of cancer only, for, only caused by asbestos. It attacks the lining of the lungs. Uh, it is always fatal. And um, So you then moved to New Paltz in that time? Well, or I actually you? moved to New Paltz while I was in private practice, and then I commuted to the city for a year and a half. So um, what year did you move to New Paltz? I moved to New Paltz in 2000. Yeah, moved up here. My wife, uh, who was born and bred and raised in the Bronx, uh, had come up to New Paltz shortly after her mom passed away, uh, after her freshman year of the college at Lehman College in the Bronx. And she came to New Paltz, uh, and New Paltz embraced her, and she equally embraced New Paltz. Uh, she made that her home. Uh, when she went to law school at Tulane, down in New Orleans, she always came home every summer to New Paltz. In but fact, she interned in, uh, in uh, Judge Kavanaugh's office. But you've been office. practicing law since 2000 in New Paltz, in Ulster County. I actually moved my practice up to New Paltz, up to the Hudson Valley in 2002. Mm -hmm. So I've been working uh, in uh, Ulster County and really uh, Dutchess County, Ulster County, Orange County, a little bit in Sullivan and Green as well. I've been doing that since 2002. Okay. I hung out my own show. Now, um, I guess one of the questions I want answer this. Why, Holly, did you decide to run for DA? I mean, you've been, you know, you have sort of a comfortable mix there, but what, what made you want to run for DA? It's a question.
question I ask myself these days. No, just kidding. Uh, I've been uh, I've been in the criminal justice system really my whole career. I've been doing this for almost 30 years now, and uh, I, I like doing it. It's, it's a, a calling to me. When I left the DA's office, I would never have guessed that I would go into criminal defense practice. I, I actually didn't intend to do that, and I'm sure Jonathan will have a similar sentiment. Thing. When you're working uh, as an assistant DA, you have a certain uh, camaraderie with the um, with the people that you work with, and I had really had no intention of going into criminal practice. You mean in going on the other side, going going to from the, prosecuting going the criminals to, the dark side. to then That's defending them? That's right. Now, how many years did you work as an assistant DA in the DA's uh, About four and a half. Okay. Uh, and then I worked in the um, public defender's office for many, many more years than that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the fellow that was in the public defender, the, the, the public defender at the time, was a, a, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, Paul Bruner. Um, oh, I know Paul. Sure. I worked for him for surrogate court, and many people in Woodstock would remember. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a registered Democrat, but I'm an independent. Mm -hmm. And I thought that he was far superior candidate to Mary Work, but unfortunately he did lose. Well, <laughs> I'm not, well, not going to go there. But well, I, I, I'm telling yes, you that okay. he is a, he's a wonderful person. He really we is. actually went to the same college, he and I, at the same time, a couple of years apart. But anyway, continue. Well, <laughs> when, I was, when I first started with Mike's office, um, we were incredibly busy, honestly. We had a lot to do. Uh, it was a great time of my life. I enjoyed the work immensely. Uh, and Mike was a great guy to work for. But to be honest with you, Paul, deserves some credit for how things were done back there. He was only a part-time um, assistant DA, but he had the seniority and the experience really to go to. Uh, and he was the kind of guy that you could call him up and say, hey, Paul, <laughs> Mike just assigned this case to me and I'm a little troubled by it, and what do you think about this? And he was always there to help out, and a, a really a good attorney. Long story short, when he took over as a public defender and I left, he said, why don't you come to work for me? And at first I resisted that. And he said, you know, why don't you try it? See how it, see how it goes. You may find that you like it. And I will say that my experience as an assistant public defender um, was very, very challenging. And I think it made me, it has made me a better lawyer, a more complete lawyer. Um, uh, it's, in my judgment, it's more difficult to defend criminal actions than to prosecute. The, the, right. the way things are right. set up in the criminal mm -hmm. um, procedure law, uh, it's, there's a bit of an advantage, frankly, to be being the prosecution as it should be. Um, but anyway, I enjoyed I enjoyed that very very Didn't much. Didn't quite work out that way with O.J. Simpson. Well, now you know that, that's because they had their own <laughs> prosecutor. If I was there, there'd be a different result. Of course. Um, but I know but, you're, that does seem to be in general. That's the exception to the rule, I believe. So. so I guess the short answer is I've always loved the work. Uh, I enjoyed being in the courtroom. I, um, and frankly, I know and like the people that are in the. This, the criminal justice personnel in Ulster County is a fairly small group of people. There are only a handful of lawyers that practice most of the criminal um, work. Um, there are only a handful of prosecutors that do most of the heavy lifting. Uh, it's been a part of my life for a long time, and it's frankly been a goal of mine for a long time. Uh, I actually threw my hat in the ring in the uh, political arena many years ago. and. Uh, this opportunity came up when Don decided that he was not going to run. Uh, I was approached by members of the party, and they asked me to run, and I'm, uh, mm -hmm. I'm pleased to be here. Well, you know, I think both of you probably know that you have big shoes to fill. Uh, Don Williams has come on my show many times. Mm -hmm. He's a, a phenomenal person uh, as, an, as a human being, but also as a district attorney, and he will be sorely missed. So um, I think a lot of people uh, in the county, you know, they probably aren't aware of that, but you know, that's something. But but anyway, why don't you uh, explain what made you feel the calling? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, similar to uh, to Holly, when I left the Bronx DA's office, uh, and I really, you know, they had to drag me out of there, kicking and screaming. But it was a, uh, there were a couple of questions, and one was that, uh, you know, I didn't want to look back five, ten, fifteen years later and say, you know, I really should have tried something. Uh, I'm glad that I went out to uh, to help people. I mean, the, the cases that I was handling, the asbestos cases, those were like homicide cases because the corporations that made and sold the asbestos product knew that it would be lethal, and they chose not to warn people about it. So for me, that was really like prosecuting cases. I also, uh, you know, I, I was working uh, in, in that uh, job uh, in the asbestos firm. I was also 
representing uh, police officers, the Latino Officers Association, who is bringing a discrimination suit, a class action of sorts, against the New York City Police Department. So, you know, I, I did still have my hand uh, in the law enforcement, and I, I enjoyed that. It, it is a calling. Um, and uh, it was, I did not intend to go over to the dark side, as we do uh, call it when you're, when you're prosecuting cases. I did not intend to be a criminal defense lawyer. But I, when we moved up here and my wife started uh, working in the public defender's office, I had the opportunity to see some of the work that the Ulster County DA's office um, was performing. And uh, I have to say, I was very frustrated as a prosecutor at heart. Uh, it, 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 uh, it pains